Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. It's Friday again. Well, it surprises me how quickly Friday comes. I'm just waiting to see if the computer will catch up and show me what I'm looking at. Give you a couple minutes or a minute to to find me. If I find me faster than the computer is, there we go. Okay. Computers found me. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, shall we get started today? So I'm going to be using white cardstock and black cardstock. And I'm going to be using these two sets. This is the Stitched Florals Z3698. And it does have thin cuts. Remember, if it's a letter number of A, B, C, or D, then you know it's without thin cuts. If it's Z, it's with thin cuts, okay? So this one is Birthday Borders, which I love. And it is Z3780. I do like this one. I just got it recently. So lots of thin cuts. And this one has quite a few. One, two, three. There's four of them for the candles, the presents, the happy birthday, and the balloons, which is really nice. Okay. Move those out of the way. Hope everybody can hear me. See me. Looks like you can see me. Anybody around on this Friday morning? Okay, so I thin cut a flower and a leaf, and then I also used. Hold on, let me get it for you. This middle one here, thin cut from Z4260, the stitch rectangular frames. Okay, and I will be using, I will be showing you the frame part two, which is right here, right there. So that's what you get when you cut that that one out. In case nobody has seen that. Just kind of nice because it gives you the frame if you want a frame or the inside if you want the inside. Okay, so the colors we are using today are mustard seed, spiced marmalade, abandoned coral, and peacock feathers. Okay, all right, so I've showed you a lot of stamping on white cardstock or cream cardstock, but I haven't really done any black. So let's get our lids off, which just fall off, unless you don't want them to fall off. And then of course they don't fall off. <laughs> oh, that one fell off, yay. Good for you, abandoned coral. Ah, uh, and the feathers. Okay, so there we go. We are going to start with, and remember, always have paper towels, always have water around. Can never have too much of this. All right, so we're going to start with the mustard. And remember, always go off the page, and I always kind of have it at an angle, okay, to start. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and smooth that out, okay. Next. And this one doesn't seem to be quite as dark. And I know it really just doesn't look like much of anything, does it? You can go back if you want to blend a little more. Oops, which is quite a bit. So I will add a little bit more of this. There's always oops. Okay, this one is one. Oh, and I'm going to use my. Okay, here's a trick. Either use your paper towel to hold it down, or before I add the next layer, we'll just heat it up a little bit and dry it. Then you don't get the fingerprints. See that? Nothing, nothing much coming off. 
Okay, we'll go for the paper towel. Probably didn't do it enough. Not a clean spot. Alrighty, and we'll add a little bit of this. I know that this one is stronger or more juicy or I don't know, it just has more color in it. So just kind of remember that about your your different ones and do it accordingly. Like to start. And we're just kind of mixing until you get what you like. There we go. And that is really staying wet, but oh well. Let's see if we can't smooth that out just a little bit. I'm taking some of that color off of my scratchy pad. Okay. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right. Let's dry this. Actually, what do I do next? Actually, next I'm going to get rid of some of this. Clean up time. You know that. I, I can't be too messy. I can be messy, but I can't be too messy. It's the September baby in me. Okay, so I'm going to spray this, and I just kind of want a light spray. I'm going to move it aside, pick up all that water in case I turn my sheet over. Then I don't have to worry about it getting wet, re-wet on the back side. Okay? And if you give the, the big splotches a little bit of time, the big drops a little bit of time to dry, or hit them from the back, they will dry faster and not spread. Okay, so there we go. That's what the oxide looks like. And sorry for the, for the, uh, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just waiting to see where I need to be. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of my clear shimmer brush. And I already have some on a block here. And there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either tap your shimmer brush or you can re-wet that and you can flick it down for bigger droplets. Remember to turn your paper a little bit. So they're not all kind of going the same way. And just gently do that. And look at how, I don't know if you can see it. Let me pull it a little closer. Pick up on here. Now, mind you, I've put shimmer down, so there's going to be sparkle everywhere. No matter if you try and clean it up or not clean it up. I'm going to throw that one away. But look at how the um, yellow kind of takes on, the shimmer takes on the yellow. But not necessarily so much on that uh, abandoned coral or that um, peacock, or uh, the, what is it called? Yeah, peacock feathers. So there's what that one looks like. Okay. All right, so now I wanted to get, actually I wanted to use some of the ink, the oxide ink. Uh, this is just white paper. Oh, they're off the block. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're already set up. <laughs> right here. So I've got one on one side and one on the other. And the color I used was this one. And for some reason, my brain is drawing a blank today. I can't seem to remember. This is Spice Marmalade. Now that I've got it almost ready here. Maybe this will be good for you guys too in case you're wondering. Then you'll know. Okay. There we go. So Spice Marmalade. And remember it's kind of a different ink than we're used to. It's wetter. More of a pigment, pigment kind of an ink. Now, I don't know if there's a right or wrong but it seemed to stamp anyway. So I've got that one, and then make sure that you wipe all of that off. Look at how much of that comes off, okay? And then we're going to use the blue peacock, oops, sorry for the shaking, peacock feathers for our green one, or for our, <laughs> peacock feathers for our green one, that sounds really silly, peacock feathers for our leaf. 
since we don't really have any green and we don't really want to introduce any more colors. Again, take that off of your stamp. And then that was a little bright, okay? So I figured, well, let's just oxidize that and lighten it up a little. Okay? Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it out of the way, let it do its oxide thing. Got a nice clean paper towel. Get rid of that water. And then these are small, so you're gonna need something to hold to dry them with. you can do the heat tool. Okay, so that, that's a little softer. All right, so let's put this on a card. And first I'm going to show you what I did. I'll show you this way. So we're gonna put that on a card. Here's the card. And let me see. There is, I, I put shimmer brush directly on that black frame. I didn't oxidize it with any of the inks, it's just the black frame, okay? Make sure you can see it all. And I'll have still pictures that you can look at after class. But if that's too much for you, you can easily just use the plain frame without anything done to it. Like so. So that's the first card. And then I just added a little bit of bling. I know. There's never too much bling. And I added happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So that's our first card. Take that away. And next I'm going to be using a piece of white cardstock cut at four and five and a quarter. Okay. And kind of wanted to do something a little different. So I'm going to just use the edge and get my four colors lined up here. And some colors, like I say, are stronger than others. You need more of them and some you don't need as much. Okay. I think I need just a little bit more of that. All right, so I've got a straight line going for all those. And we are going to spray this down, okay? All right, and here's where you want to have some little scrap pieces of paper as well. You might as well use all of it, right? So, okay, you've seen me tap it down and do that, but this time we're going to drag it across and kind of make some lines. First one way and then the other, okay? And that's kind of cool. Let's dry that. And actually I'm gonna give that a second to soak into the paper. And I can, you can watch it soak into the paper. And then I'll dry it. I'm just kind of pushing my fingers to kind of keep it a little flatter. If it starts to curl, turn it over. You can see where the Okay, you can see kind of where it's more wet, the little speckles, versus the smooth here. Okay, that's cool, but I need a little more up along this top. So let's just kind of scoot it along the edge. And you can run it down, whatever you want to do. Okay. And then I'm going to give that a second to soak in. And... If I don't dry it in between, you're going to get mud, depending on what colors you have. If you dry it in between, you don't get the mud, okay? So now I'm going to kind of go back and kind of, okay, where do I want one? I need some blue up there. Look at that. See how that's running? So if I just hold it still and wait a minute, 
it'll soak in. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Watch that, that puddle right there disappear. Gone. That's right. Okay. So now let's get some yellow and orange down there. And if you don't want to wait for that, you can also just dab it with your paper towel. Okay, and let's just, and you can just basically keep doing this forever and a day until your stuff is gone or until you get it to where you like it. Okay, I've got quite a few colors on there. I don't want them to muddy, so I want to dry them. Getting kind of uh, wrinkly. So I'm going to turn it over and dry it from the back. Kind of flatten her out a little more. Okay. That's pretty good. You could use a couple more dots down here. Okay. Let's work this a little more. And kind of get a little bit more color on there. You can move it around. Kind of move it with your finger. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Okay, they always come out different. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, I kind of like that where it is. So I'm going to take my, like I said, piece of extra. Put that down. And this I'm going to kind of go for a, a speckled look. Okay, so I want to leave some of the white. So I'm just going to go and pick up whatever color I can find. That's left. Remember, dry it in between. Okay, so that's a much lighter. There's still some left. Oh, lost my paper towel. So clean that up. So that's a much lighter look with the extras. But wouldn't that be cool to stamp something on or cut something out with a thin cut or make it into a a little banner tag or a little strip or you know all kinds of things and this is the one oh it's still wet you can feel the wet and you feel the moisture around the edges and you can see it I'm having so much fun with this I can't wait to uh, go on to some of the other stuff so there we go it's still a little wet so i'll just set it aside so you always get something different okay um here's another one i did and it kind of did a little bit better on my stripes than what this one did and then what i did for a card was this And then how do I know it gets kind of muddy? Because I tried it and it got kind of muddy. So I added some more stronger colors. <clears throat> Not as wet. And just played with it until I got this. And I have something that I want to do with this. And I'll show you. But here's the card that I made. Just making sure I'm in focus. Give you time to see it. This is raised up. This is not. So this is like one of those little strips like this that I had left over. I think I threw it away. Yeah, I did. Um, and it's just stamp the happy birthday over the top. I would advise stamping after you make your pattern rather than before because the ink kind of is like a chalk look. So in that respect, it could chalk out and lighten whatever you're stamping. So, just my FYI, okay? All right. So, this piece... Oh, I wanted to show you one more. Okay, now you saw me last week when I made um, just, you know, the blending of, of it all, which is just taking one color at a time, blending it across, and you can either do circles or you can do lines or just kind of... Oops, sorry whatever you want, like so. That color I know is really strong, so I try and, and 
even if you get a circle, it'll blend out. You just keep working it and working it until it blends out, okay? All right. I'm not going to do the last one because you've seen me do that. Dry it when you're done. Let's get rid of that ink so we don't transfer any to our card. I like to spray it because if it gets dry and you, it won't wipe up all the way. It won't stay on there, but it doesn't wipe up all the way. And so what I did with that was I put a little bit of black behind it. So that's still that same stitched image. And this um, little bow is in that image as well. And what I did was I just took the mustard yellow on just a, a plain bow and just lightly colored it in and heated it up so it's dry. And then I went back and stamped it with the um, bow stamp, okay? And I like to add the little sparkles around. Kind of just, I don't know, something I like to do. And there's another one of those words from the happy birthday. So wait so you can see that. Okay. And then that bit of that black one, I did a whole piece. And look at the difference. It's just really interesting what you can do with that, okay? So, as I said before, I thought that this would be kind of cool to use the bow thin cut and see what we get. So give me just a second, I'll be off camera, and I'm going to, going to put these down and cut them out. Hold on. Let's see what we get. Anticipation getting to you yet? Okay. There's our two pieces. And I'll also show you how I put these together. Okay? Alright. So, what we're going to do is this is your. Oh, I should have inked that up. Oh, well. Okay. So this is your bow part, and I like to curve it around my finger a little bit. You could also take anything around and give yourself a little... It just helps loosen up the fibers and keeps everything straight. Okay. You go to the back side. I'm going to add a glue dot in the middle. Uh, okay, and then we're going to take this half, and we want to make sure that these edges here and these edges here match up. So I'll try to do this in the air, like so. Okay, ooh, that pretty. We'll put another glue dot, or almost glue dot, on there. And again, whoops, we'll marry those two sides together until they're nice and straight. Put the glue dot there. Isn't that pretty? And then we take this one, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to take this off and see if I have enough to wrap around. Another glue dot. <laughs> Lots of glue dots. This time I'm going to put it on the face of the, the tails of the bow, if you will. And I'm going to stick this one on. Hopefully my head doesn't get in the way. Like so. And then this piece, I'm going to put another glue dot. And then, and then, on the back and hope that we can bridge the distance. Otherwise, I'll have to get something else. Okay. There goes nothing. I say 
person. I don't know if this will fit. It's really tiny. I'm just curving it around a little bit. Let's see if it will fit. This will just barely get it. So I'm just, I'm just taking my fingernail and pushing it around, hit some of that glue. And actually, I think I'll put a glue dot on the top side. That might have been better. Duh. <laughs> okay. Like old Mago. Where are my? I need my tweezers. Turn over there. Oh, there they are. Hold on. If you have sausage fingers like me, this helps. Get that kind of in the middle, and then it's not quite big enough to fold up, but it'll work. There we go. So then you can take anything round again and just flatten that out or curve it. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. How would that look? Instead of that on there. So, there's how you make a bow. Oop, forgot there was sticky on the back. There we go. So, isn't that cool? And you can flatten it out if you want to, to uh, mail it. And you could also do both sides of your paper so that way you don't see any of that white. But that is it today for class. Me and my sticky boy are just stopping by to say hi, have fun, and as always, if you do something, put it down below in the comments. I'd love to see if I inspired you to try something. Have a great day, a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, everyone. Oh, hi. Hi, Lori. And as always, tell me which card was your favorite. Here, I'll bring them back in. This one. Or you can say the bow was your favorite. One, two, three. There you go for today. I hope you try something new. You never know what you're going to come up with. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.